Hey guys, Paul, Inventor 3. Okay, uh, I'm kind of going back to the drawing board here. All these hundreds and hundreds of LEDs I'm usually playing with are all disconnected right now. They're not even in the system. I just came in today to turn everything on. And I happen to notice these 10 LEDs are lit here. I'm like, what the heck? See, this is off. <laughs> I know they're not blinding brights, but... Uh, anyhow, I'm like, wait a minute, what? Uh, wait, I don't have my frequency generator turned on. It's off. Okay. So anyhow, uh, we start back here with this white wire that goes to my secret sauce. <laughs> Bruno VK gave me that name. He says, your secret sauce. So I like that. I'll call it my secret sauce, the part I always keep off camera. Anyhow, one wire goes to here, goes to the coil, goes to this coil, comes over here, goes to 10 LEDs, and then this yellow wire is just down to earth ground, a rod I have in the ground down there. Now, I'm like, how could they be on? Now this, this wire here, and oh, where is it? The red probe. There, that's that's for my um, multimeter here. 45 volts. I'm like, what? Wait, wait, what? Now, if I disconnect the ground, they go out. If I disconnect either lead to my meter, it goes out. Uh, if I disconnect my probe here, or if I disconnect the power back here, the LEDs go out also. Now my frequency generator is not powered on. So I'm trying to figure out now what the heck is going on. And uh, the frequency generator, I could only see that acting or being a uh, antenna or a ground. You know, just a hunk of metal there. Um, it's off. Um, now I'm thinking, you know, my system does, I'm almost positive, works in a push and pull. And um, what the heck was I saying now? <laughs> now, if my my secret sauce, my system can amplify the 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 power and current, the power coming from here, maybe it's also working in reverse right now. It's taking energy from the earth ground. And working backwards. I I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to move on and do some more experiments here. And yeah, it's just, this doesn't need to be on. I mean, that's a 9 volt battery. You're only getting 9 volts from that. It doesn't make sense. So, anyhow, yeah. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, just a quick experiment. I just took these 10 LEDs. Boy, all that stuff under the glass is really distracting, isn't it? I just took all those 10 LEDs out. Now I just got the two coils coming from my system, earth ground, and still got my probes on there. Zero. Huh. All right.
let's see what happens if we put instead of 10 LEDs 20 LEDs okay all 20 of those are lit up now again there's ones that are off <laughs> and I'm broad daylight here 20 are lit but now we only have 26 volts all right so we get zero volts with no LEDs they're going let me try one individual LED on there I'll be right back okay we got one LED on there now uh, let me point out too that this was the negative end and I have the positive end going to earth ground it's important to note uh, okay wait wait a minute this is where I'm at that was at 47 a minute ago huh it was a little higher touching one leg or the other here seeing if how about if I put my hand closer to that coil no dropping down wait yeah. hmm Alright, so let me try, instead of two coils, let me try one, or maybe three. Alright, this is interesting. Hmm, 10 LEDs, 20 LEDs, 10 LEDs lit, still the same voltage. Oh, now we're down to 40. What the heck's going on? Alright, I'll be back. Huh, all right. So we got one LED, only one coil now. I pulled this one out. Um, it fluctuates a little bit. It goes between like 41 and 47 sometimes. I don't know if it's depending on where I'm in, at in the room or what yet. Um, yeah, so why? Oh, man, okay, there's only one coil. It's almost the same results. Uh, and why would it be the same result with one LED as it is with 10? But then we go from 10 to 20 and all of a sudden it drops way down. Uh, I'm going to double check them. I'm sure I got them wired the right way. Well, they wouldn't be lit otherwise. Uh, yeah. With the diodes, the LEDs in that direction, the only place the energy can be coming from is the earth ground. But how's that happening? And the other thing is, too, is I could touch this and it's not affecting it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, fluctuating. Back and forth. Oh, whoa, 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 that would, I don't know what the heck. And this coil should be highly active. I'm gonna grab it. I've got my fingers clamped on it. I mean, it is going down a tiny bit. Now I'm going to let go. Right, why isn't that going back up either? Well, there it is, 40. Slowly, I don't know. Something very strange going on here, guys. Uh, you know, it would be different if I was hooked to earth ground from your house, that third prong. Because even I've gotten like over 20-something volts doing that. 
that's uh, why I always use earth ground myself in my experiments. Um, all right, let me think about this. Yeah, why would why would one LED be the same as ten? But then when you go to twenty, unless it's got something to do with that little alligator clipping it, I don't know. All right, I'll be back. This is too strange. Okay, so one more time. Here's one LED. You get about 40 volts. All right, now watch this. All right, now there's 10. There's 45. You do, in fact, get about 5 volts more. Hmm, now I'm wondering if I got to experiment with 8, 7, 6... 11, 12 LEDs, what's the best combination? Why is it that when I add 10 more it goes down? Let me try that again. Hmm. There's 20 LEDs. Yeah, that's strange. Now I wonder if the length of that wire in there makes a difference. Um... All right, let me think about this. <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay, I removed that length of wire. And we're still at 27 volts with all 20 of them. Huh. So, this is very strange. Um... I mean, you're looking at 20 LEDs lit with what appears to be no source of energy, um, free energy. Um, don't beat me up over saying that term. <laughs> I said appears to be, okay? Um, something's going on somewhere all right guys uh, this might be the end of this video I'm not sure yet uh, yeah uh, I gotta think about this if I come back uh, then there's good results if I don't come back and this video ends right now <laughs> then I'll see you next time <laughs> I did want to show you this real quick. Uh, I will be doing a few experiments with putting this barium titanate cylinder that I got from John Hutchison in there too. See if maybe we could excite it. Uh, and there's uh, my kilowatt meter. This is uh, my frequency generator. That's off. Anyhow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, amps is voltage. Amps zero. Watts zero. Volt amps zero. 60 hertz. So you could see that, yeah, it's plugged in. There's 120 volts. Uh, it's not going anywhere though. There's no current, no power going to the frequency generator so um all right guys <laughs> all right so let me show you this I'll just take this off and i start tapping along there Forty-three, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-three, fifty-four, and fifty-six. 58, 
We're only on three LEDs. Two. Oh, two LEDs. Yeah, big difference. Two LEDs. Fifty eight volts. Over fifty eight volts. Huh. All right, guys. I'm going to keep going with this though, but that was interesting. I don't know what to think. All right. <laughs> okay, two single individual LEDs. Made it up to 60 volts. Huh. Not as much current, I would expect, but still. Huh. All right, guys. All right, so who knows how much longer this video is going to go on. Uh, <laughs> I just added a third coil with the two LEDs and the ground. And now I'm negative 0 0.192 volts. Now I'm a negative. So it's like we are still resonating with the earth or something. Uh, that Schumann resonance. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so how much more can I extra? Now I'm thinking if I put a different load on here then I'm going to have to adjust the coils. I keep wanting to change my frequency, but <laughs> it's not powered on. Uh, but we're still controlling the frequency. So this has really got me wondering now, how much more energy can we get here? I got to find out oh, this entire day <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to turn the power on <laughs> an entire day of experiments with no power, but I see power. Hold on. All right, we'll be back. <laughs>